Welcome to our YouTube channel, Pause and Practice. Today we are going to learn about how to diagnose feline infectious peritonitis. Reliable and rapid diagnosis of FIP is important but can be challenging. Difficulties arise from the lack of non-invasive confirmatory tests in cats without obvious effusion. Obtaining and analyzing effusion is minimally invasive and much more sensitive than diagnostic tests in blood. In cats with no effusion, several parameters including history, clinical signs, laboratory changes, and level of antibody titers should be considered to determine whether to use invasive, confirmative diagnostic methods. Hematology and serum biochemistry. WBC counts can be decreased or increased. Nonspecific findings are lymphopenia, neutrophilia, non-regenerative, anemia. Specific findings are increase in total serum protein concentration. Albumin to globulin ratio has a significantly higher diagnostic value to distinguish FIP from other diseases. If the serum albumin to globulin ratio is less than 0.8, the probability that the cat has FIP is high, 92% positive predictive value, PPV. If the albumin to globulin ratio is higher than 0.8, the cat likely does not have FIP, 61% negative predictive value, NPV. Other laboratory parameters, including liver enzymes, bilirubin, urea, or BUN, and creatinine. Hyperbilirubinemia and icterus are often seen in cats with FIP. Diagnostic imaging, ultrasonographic findings in FIP may include abdominal lymphadenopathy, peritoneal or retroperitoneal effusion, renomegaly, irregular renal contour, hypoechoic subcapsular echogenicity, and diffuse changes within the intestines. Effusion. Fluid. Tests on effusion have a much higher diagnostic value than tests performed on blood. Fluid can be obtained through ultrasound-guided fine needle aspiration or by using the flying cat technique in case of ascites. Although clear yellow effusions of sticky consistency are considered typical, Revolta's test is a simple, inexpensive method that does not require special laboratory equipment and can be performed easily in private practice. A transparent reagent tube, 10 mmU, is filled with mocha 8 mmHg distilled water to which one drop of acetic acid, highly concentrated vinegar, 98%, is added and mixed thoroughly. On the surface of this solution, one drop of the effusion fluid is carefully layered. If the drop disappears and the solution remains clear, the Revolta's test is defined as negative. If the drop retains its shape, stays attached to the surface or slowly floats down to the bottom of the tube, drop or jellyfish-like, the test is defined as positive. Analysis of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, from cats with neurologic signs due to FIP lesions may reveal increased protein and pleocytosis containing mainly neutrophils, lymphocytes, and macrophages. Apart from these diagnostic techniques, there is no specific test to confirm FIP. But there are some tests to diagnose feline coronavirus, which also help to diagnose FIP measurement of antibodies. Feline coronavirus reverse transcriptase PCR. Immunostaining of feline coronavirus antigen. Thank you, viewers. We will be back here soon to discuss treatment of FIP. Please subscribe our channel, like the video, and press the bell icon.